of this. This is not believable, but this is what's happening. A 550 percent increase in Syrian refugees on top of the existing massive refugee flows coming into our country already under the leadership of President Obama. She proposes this despite the fact that there is no way to screen these refugees in order to find out who they are or where they come from. I only want to admit individuals into our country who will support our values and love our people. Anyone who endorses violence, hatred, or oppression is not welcome in our country and never, ever will be. <laughs> Decades of record immigration have produced lower wages and higher unemployment for our citizens, especially for African American and Latino workers. We are going to have an immigration system that works, but one that works for the American people. On Monday, we heard from three parents whose children were killed by illegal immigrants. Mary Ann Mendoza, Sabine Dirt, and my friend, Jamil Shaw. They're just three brave representatives of many thousands who have suffered so gravely. Of all my travels in this country, nothing has affected me more, nothing even close, I have to tell you, than the time I have spent with the mothers and fathers who have lost their children to violence spilling across our borders, which we can solve. We have to solve it. <laughs> These families have no special interest to represent them. There are no demonstrators to protect them, and certainly none to protest on their behalf. My opponent will never meet with them or share in their pain, believe me. Instead, my opponent wants sanctuary cities. But where was the sanctuary for Kate Steinle? Where was the sanctuary for the children of Marianne and Sabine and Jamil? Where was the sanctuary for all of the other — oh, it's so sad to even be talking about it, because we can solve this problem so quickly. Where was the sanctuary for all of the other Americans who have been so brutally murdered and who have suffered so, so horribly? These wounded American families have been alone, but they are not alone any longer. Tonight, this candidate and the whole nation stand in their corner to support them to send them our love and to pledge in their honor that we will say